The U.S. Army is evolving and using more and more autonomous vehicles to carry out dangerous tasks that they don't want troops to be involved in. This is where the Ripsaw M3 comes in. This vehicle is part of the huge effort to integrate robotic platforms into its future combat vehicle fleet, with a focus on transportability and mission versatility. It's also part of a family of vehicles that are just starting to be rolled out and tested, representing the future of warfare. Let's take a closer look at the M3 and how it fits into the latest batch of autonomous vehicles being released. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. Textron Systems has spent a huge amount of time and money investing in designing, demonstrating, and maturing ground robotic technologies that use features for transportability, mission flexibility, and battlefield agility. The ground robotic vehicles they're designing are the wingmen of the battlefield. As technology advances, so does the capability of protecting soldiers. Unmanned ground robotic platforms like the M3 give soldiers the risk-free help they need to continue the fight. Because of this need, Textron Systems with How and How Technologies have developed multiple ground robotic vehicles in many different sizes, weights, and power profiles. The Ripsaw M3 is the newest release from the team and the latest addition to the Ripsaw family of vehicles. The model demonstrated uses the familiar flat deck configuration from the Ripsaw M5 robotic vehicle, which we'll look at in more detail later and gives unobstructed deck space to transport multiple payloads, without troops needing to be involved. The M3 was built to address the next big challenge for ground robotics, which is wet gap crossing. This new platform has given the designers of the vehicle an opportunity to build in lessons learned from the M5 robotic vehicle platform into a smaller, yet mission-capable variant. This is all part of why the Ripsaw collaboration has been chosen to participate in the U.S. Army's Robotic Combat Vehicle Phase 1 program. Under Phase 1 of the program, the team will deliver two prototype Ripsaw M3 vehicles. These vehicles will face testing by the U.S. Army, evaluating their mobility, sensor performance, remote vehicle control, and overall system reliability. Designed to meet the U.S. Army's exacting requirements, it has a focus on transportability and mission versatility. The open architecture design and common chassis of the family of vehicles allow for a wide range of field exchangeable payloads, making it perfect for various mission profiles. As part of the RCV program, which includes three variants of robotic systems, light, medium, and heavy, the U.S. Army sees RCVs as scouts and escorts for manned fighting vehicles to reduce ambushes and to guard the flank of mechanized formations. The Ripsaw M3 is one of the candidates for the light version in the program. The robotic system has a weight of around 17,600 pounds and can be moved to where needed by a CH-47 transport helicopter. It also has amphibious capabilities and has water jet propulsion underwater. This is a key difference from its M5 bigger brother. The Ripsaw M3 has been designed to be used as a multi-role platform and at exhibitions, it has been presented with different payloads, including a 30mm cannon, a Kongsberg Common Remotely Operated Weapon Station armed with Javelin missiles, and also a Kongsberg Crow's turret and an Arnold Defense Rocket Launcher System. Team Ripsaw has been actively investing in its family of robotic vehicles since 2019, which started with the debut of the Ripsaw M5 system. This has seen variants since, including the M5E electric version and the M3. These have done multiple mission sets in diverse environmental and test conditions, gathering over 2,000 miles of durability testing. Like the Ripsaw M3, the M5 is a fully unmanned vehicle, capable of being operated remotely or autonomously, helping to reduce the risk to human soldiers in dangerous combat situations. To help with this, it has AI integration for autonomous navigation, obstacle detection, and mission execution, which can adapt to complex battlefield environments. A huge advantage of this vehicle is that it is one of the fastest tracked combat vehicles in the world. It's based on the proven Ripsaw chassis, well known in military circles for its agility, speed, and maneuverability. The platform can travel at speeds exceeding 60 miles per hour which is incredibly fast considering its size and weight. As well as being quick, the M5 also packs a punch and can be fitted with various machine guns, including the M240 medium machine gun, 
offering high rates of fire and is effective against infantry, light vehicles, and unarmored targets. It can also accommodate the M2 Browning 12.7mm heavy machine gun, known for its stopping power, engaging enemy personnel, lightly armored vehicles, and low-flying aircraft. These weapons can be used for both suppression and direct fire missions. On top of this, it can also be fitted with anti-tank guided missiles like the Javelin or TOW missile systems. The Ripsaw M5's ATGM capability makes it a formidable asset in anti-armor and precision strike missions. The M5 can also be equipped with automatic grenade launchers like the Mark 19. This is capable of firing high-explosive grenades at a range of over 6,500 feet and is highly effective for area denial, engaging enemy personnel, light vehicles, and providing suppressive fire during assaults. This can deliver rapid bursts of grenades with a high volume of fire over a wide area, making it useful for both offensive and defensive operations. Like the M5, the Ripsaw M3 can also be equipped with a remote weapon station. This allows the operator to control its weapon systems remotely from a safe distance. The RWS can mount the various weapons we've already explored, including machine guns and grenade launchers, providing the platform with flexibility in combat scenarios. The targeting systems on the RWS include thermal imaging, night vision, and laser rangefinders, giving precise targeting in diverse conditions. The M3 typically carries lighter weapon systems like machine guns or grenade launchers and focuses more on reconnaissance and light combat roles. The bigger M5 is capable of mounting heavier weapons, including autocannons, missile systems, and other direct fire capabilities, making it more suited for frontline combat support and heavier combat operations. The M3 has been designed with a focus on mobility and speed. It's more suited for reconnaissance, surveillance, and light combat missions where agility and stealth are important. It's also been designed for supporting infantry units and is generally considered a light to medium weight platform, whereas the Ripsaw M5 is a heavier and more robust version. The Ripsaw M5 robotic combat vehicle has a combat weight of 23,000 pounds in comparison to the 17,600 pound weight of the M3. The M5 has been designed to fulfill more versatile roles, including heavier combat support and logistics. The bigger version is tailored for modular payloads and heavier weapon systems, making it capable of handling larger and more powerful armaments or equipment for multi-mission roles, including logistics, transport, and combat. Another recent robotic offering that's similar to the M3 from a rival company is the Milram Themis. This is a versatile, modular, unmanned ground vehicle that excels in logistical support, reconnaissance, and multifunction roles that's highly adaptable to various non-combat and light combat missions. In comparison, the Ripsaw M3 is a high-speed combat-oriented UGV with better mobility and firepower, designed for fast-paced, light combat and reconnaissance missions, making it better suited for more dynamic and combat-focused roles. There's also the Type X RCV, where the Themis is a smaller UGV than the M3. The Type X is larger and closer to the Ripsaw M5. The Type X RCV is designed for more heavy duty combat roles with greater firepower and protection, making it suitable for frontline engagements. The Ripsaw M3 has more of a focus on speed, reconnaissance, and light support, designed for missions that require agility and stealth over direct firepower. What are your thoughts on the Ripsaw M3? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.